What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, so a lot of you are probably wondering why I'm doing this video. And no, I'm not trying to compare and contrast my vs. show to others. I'm just doing this video because I like having a video out every other day, and I couldn't think of any other videos to make. This idea just popped into my mind, and I'm like, huh, oh, I'll talk about versus shows that I like, and why I like them, and what what are my thoughts on them, and all that. So, this is what I came up with. So, for my own show, Fictional Fights, I will say it is very different from other shows, other versus shows, not in the format, but more like... In the way that I do my research, I try my best not to rely on fan calculations and power scaling and all that. I mean, power scaling is a legitimate and uh, reliable way of finding out a character's strength, but you do need to be cautious because in certain fights, certain characters could have the advantage in a fight. Like, let's say this character who's normally city block level beats this planet level guy because he was powered up by the orb of awesomeness. We can't really power scale that city block character because he was powered up by outside help, something that he didn't do on his own. So it's not like we can put him against any other planet level characters. Or like if multiple characters team up against one guy, we cannot scale all those multiple characters to that one guy, since it took all of them to take him down. Like with the Z Fighters, Gohan versus Perfect Cell. Now I will say what my show is lacking that these other shows have, is good editing and fight scenes, because uh, some of the fights in my series have a lack of fight scenes because I cannot animate. I try as hard as I can and they don't end up well. I try to come up with all these different ideas for what I could do to substitute for fight scenes. While all these other shows, they have animators, they have fight scenes, yada yada yada, all that stuff. And I'm trying to work on uh, finding more animators and finding different ways to do fight scenes. Um, I have found a couple guys who are willing to animate, so you might see their work soon. So I'm very excited to show them off, because they are both very, very talented. But another problem with my show is the editing. I do everything by myself. Like, the only thing that isn't me is my host, who records his lines. But all the other rest of the sound editing, all the visual editing, that's all me. And sometimes, my editor decides to glitch up and, like, clip the sound as the video is rendering. And it's annoying. Luckily, it doesn't cut out entire parts. It just clips sound clips a bit like clips of the sound, so you'll hear like itsy bitsy tiny cuts, but luckily nothing gets taken out. It just gets all chopped and spliced together a bit. But something I really do like about my show is uh, the hosts, Hira and Vic. Now at first, uh, Vic was kind of a bit of a boomstick clone, but luckily I've moved away from that more. So like instead of a gun obsessed redneck guy or something who's dumb, Vic is more like this you know, this that friend who thinks he's super cool, but in reality he's just like that n arrogant little snobby nerd. Like, Vic is the kind of guy who will slip on a banana peel, get up, brush himself off, and be like, Ah, I meant to do that. I thought it would look cool for the internet. Watch me become a star. You know, Vic's that kind of guy. So I, I, I kind of like the dynamic between Hira and Vic. It, it's, I feel like you can really tell a chemistry between them as friends. Which, I did derive inspiration from that from Wiz and Boomstick, because in the recent Death Battle episodes, uh, Wiz and Boomstick have had a fu uh, quite a few funny moments that haven't been relating to the actual episode. Like in the Snake vs. Sam Fisher episode, where Boomstick's like, I just wanted a churro! And they were talking about the vacation they went on together. It had nothing to do with the episode, but I just like the hilarious chemistry and dialogue going between them. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, that, that's funny. <laughs> so they kind of... It's not really their characters that inspired Hira and Vic, it's more like their conversations and their chemistry and how they work together as hosts that inspired Hira and Vic. And that's that's sort of my thoughts on that on my show, Fictional Fights. I enjoy it for what it is, but I do think I could be doing a lot better with it, and hopefully it'll be improving soon in the future. Oh yeah, I better not waste anyone's time and get to this one next. Death Battle, this is the big one. The most popular versus show on YouTube, I think. I mean, there could be a more popular one that I don't know about, but I think we can all agree that Death Battle is pretty huge when it comes to versus debating. 
Now, Death Battle. As a show, I do enjoy it. I love the banter between Wiz and Boomstick, as I mentioned it before, when I was talking about my show, Fictional Fights. But, sometimes, they don't exactly do the best job. I mean, when it comes to versus debating, there's no right or wrong answer. It all depends on the circumstances you put the characters in. But, sometimes, they put characters in circumstances, and still, somehow, end up coming with the opposite of what the results would actually be. Like Ganondorf versus Bowser, they had the circumstances set up, they had they were including everything, I mean they included Bowser's galaxy and universe level feats, and they were including Ganondorf <clears throat> they were including Ganondorf and the Castle Fallen on him and all that, they were including all the stuff, and yet they completely forgot that in the Zelda Oracle games Ganondorf can be killed by a normal sword but no, they're like, Ganondorf can only be killed by sacred weapons. Ugh. Bowser had no way to hurt him. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I do think... Like, I'm not going to say they're a complete joke, because they definitely do do their research. <laughs> I said doo-doo. They definitely do their research, but they don't... They don't look into it more. It's like they don't double-check or something. Like, they come up with something and they come up with a winner and all that, that's great. And then they decide not to double-check just to make sure, like, read the fine print, see if there are any exceptions to the rules or something. Like like I mentioned before with Ganondorf being killed by a regular sword in the Zelda Oracle games. So that right there. And while I enjoy Wiz and Boomstick as characters, their real-life counterparts are not exactly my favorite guys. I like Chad. Chad's cool. Never mind, forget that. Chad's awesome. But Ben, however... I really don't like talking bad about people, but Ben is a bit stubborn or arrogant or whatever. I don't know. He just claims all of his fights and the results he gets for Death Battle to be factual and that he's never wrong. Uh, I mean, I don't like to go, look at me, I'm such a better person. <laughs> but at the beginning of every fictional fights, I claim that my results aren't factual. Whereas Ben kind of assumes his word is law and he kind of sticks by it even when his words are not quite accurate like you know what i'm talking about like in goku versus superman 2 they even lifted specter off the ground a guy literally made up of eternity and the scan they showed on screen said even the mightiest of heroes could not lift him <laughs> like the scan they showed on screen do they do they not think we can read ben Ben, we can read, we can see. <laughs> so, but the animations for Death Battle, now those, those are a completely different story. Those blow me away every time. It's unbelievable. Even though it is kind of hard to watch a character die when they don't deserve to die. <laughs> Bayonetta. <clears throat> uh, Bowser. <clears throat> uh, Tifa. I don't even like Tifa, but whatever. <laughs> Their animator, Torian, just does a fantastic job with the animations and the sprite animations that they get in between Torian's animations are also very well done. So, th that's one thing they've got right, the animations. They just need to work better on their image, I guess. Like, not try and say, we're always right, we are the encyclopedia of versus debates. Because like I mentioned before, there's no right or wrong in a versus debate, it all depends on the circumstances the characters are set in. Sometimes they just get the calculations in results wrong in the certain circumstances they have. So that's that's really what I think of Death Battle. And now dead fiction. I, I mean fatal fiction. Yeah, these guys haven't exactly come out with any new episodes recently. I think their most recent one was Android 18 vs. Starfire, and that was like almost a year ago. So I, I don't know if their show is still going, if they're working on anything. All I know is that they're dead right now. <laughs> But when the show was around, it was, I do think, and I still think, it's probably the most accurate of the versus debate shows. They do very thorough, th thorough, 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 I can't pronounce the word. They do very clear calculations. They do very deep research, and they come up with very interesting matchups, and they do have animated fights, and the shows are all, the episodes are also very well edited. I think it's all around the best versus show. Now the chemistry between the guys who host it, because sometimes they have multiple people, uh, they don't have that much chemistry, they're just sort of talking about the characters. 
but they still somehow make it entertaining to watch, even though the hosts aren't talking to each other. And I do think it's the all-around best versus show out there, like, on YouTube. It has the best research, it has nice editing, it has decent fight scenes, it has entertaining hosts, it has all you could ever want. The only problem is the schedule. They don't have a schedule. They just come out whatever. And we haven't had one in almost a year. <laughs> I don't know what else to talk about. Which is weird, because it, it is my favorite of all these shows. I, I, I even like it more than Fictional Fights, my own show. And my tongue is getting twisted from talking so much. So my favorite show out of all these is the one I have least to say, because it's... It's just dead! It's dead! Fatal Fiction's dead, everyone! <laughs> Come back! <laughs> oh, sweet babies, what is this? What is this mess? Ah! Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Cartoon Fight Club. Let's let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Cartoon Fight Club. Oh boy! <laughs> now I do know the host of Cartoon Fight Club. He's a great guy. He's a nice guy. He's, 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 he's a chill dude. He's, he's awesome. He's cool. He's, he's, he's cool to hang out with. <laughs> His show, however. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. When it comes to his research. And his matchmaking. And his animations. Ugh. Cringe, 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 cringe. <laughs> oh. His animations look like sock puppets flopping around each other. I'm just going to say that right now. And his matchmaking is very poor. What's with all the memes? Get, get rid of the memes. Come on. No one's wondering who would win between MLG and Illuminati. Or Mar Markiplier versus PewDiePie. No one's wondering who would win in a fight between them. Who, who on earth requested that? Who on earth requested that? It's like appealing to... It's like pandering to 11 and 12 year olds. Who like dank memes and they think they're 420 MLG, no scope, blaze it, weed, Snoop Dogg, smoke weed every day, all that stuff. Dank, be dank, kids. You're a kid now, you're a squid now. Whoop de doo. It's. Mm, ah, ah, ah. Their scheduling is not exactly consistent either. <laughs> like, I'll see several Cartoon Fight Club episodes go up at random times, like at like 1 in the morning or something. And one of them will end up at, like, Friday at midnight, but then another one will be on Monday. And sometimes they're twice a week, sometimes they're once a week. It's just all over the place with their schedule. In their first ten episodes, they had three Mario vs. Sonic videos. What? Wh why? Why? And they have all that meme stuff for filler and views and all that. It's just super pandering and ugh. And also, he's a bit too nice. Cartoon Fight Club is too nice. To the people, like when he does a super con when he does a super controversial fight, like Goku versus Superman or Saitama versus Goku or all that, he goes way too easy on him. He's like, now the only reason this happened is because we nerfed both of them and limited to that. If you want, if you want to see a rematch of both of them at full power, um, uh, uh impossible amount of rematch comments. Yeah, 40, 40,000 rematch comments, and then I'll do it. Yeah, uh, totally. Ha ha ha. He tends to get away with super duper controversial stuff by being too nice and then making it making it impossible for him to go harder on them. So I just I just feel like I don't I don't know I don't know. So a few things I'd like to talk about before I go. One are some other versus shows that are barely just gotten off the ground or aren't even versus shows at all. One of them being Coliseum which is a Versus show that my friend Thomas did. I gave him some tips, some advice. I made some thumbnails for him. Uh, I don't want to do everything for him because, I don't know, he... Uh, him and I have worked together on stuff, like, on different channels before, and I kind of helped him out with stuff there. We helped each other out. And not that I don't want to help him or anything. I just want to see what he can do on his own. I want him to learn and unlock his full potential of what he can do because I believe he can do it. I, I know he can do it. In fact, his first episode, Mewtwo vs. Frieza, which he organized almost single-handedly. He just got an editor, got an animator, got hosts and all that. He organized it himself from the start up. So I know he can do it. So that's that's pretty cool. 
I believe in you, Thomas. You can make a versus show. He has one episode out right now, Mewtwo vs. Frieza. You should definitely check it out. The show, again, is called Coliseum. His next fight, Akuma vs. Nightmare. I will be voicing Akuma, so that's going to be fun. I love Akuma. Akuma is such a cool character. Probably my favorite Street Fighter character. <laughs> so I'm glad I got to play him. Next, I'll talk about Discussing Death Battle. It's not exactly a versus show. It's a podcast talking about fights and stuff that happened on Death Battle, and if they believe Death Battle got it wrong, then they give their own side to it. Uh, sometimes I agree with them, sometimes I don't. Like, I agree with what they said about Dante vs. Bayonetta, how they debunked that and all that. I totally agreed with that stuff. And how they discussed Ratchet vs. Clank, they gave their predictions and estimations on how the fight should go. I kind of don't agree with what they say that much, because those characters do have limits. Like, Ratchet can't hold all of his weapons at once. He has a certain limit of what he can hold at a time. And they... Uh, Ratchet's nanotech is more of a pickup, not really a healing factor. So there are just some things I disagree with them on. But they're still great guys. I love watching their podcasts. Their podcasts are very entertaining to listen to. My favorite character is Philip the Phone. <laughs> You'll get it if you've seen the podcast. But they're just great guys to listen to. So those are just some extra stuff I wanted to get off, get out of my lips, off my chest, and out of my mind before I went. So those are my thoughts on all these different versus shows, debates, discussions, and all that. Goodbye.